Okay, so getting back into our coverage over Jonathan Hickman's Avengers and New Avengers, we actually do pick up with T'Challa right now using Mr. Fantastic's latest invention. Now, of course, the latest invention is the bridge. Now, the bridge has the ability to give the Illuminati the ability to look into alternate universes. Now, that right there is very important because right now T'Challa is using that as a way to figure out how are other Earths surviving the incursions? Because remember, the multiverse is dying. Incursions are when two Earths are about to crash into one another. And when they do, both Earths are gone and the universes with those two Earths are also gone with them. And so with that being said, is T'Challa right now trying to figure out how are other Earths surviving the incursions? Now, he is confronted by Namor, and remember, by this point in Marvel Comics, Namor and T'Challa hate each other with the flaming passion. They hate each other a lot, and it all began back in Avengers vs. X-Men. But either way, you have these two kind of put their issues with one another to the side to basically help out the Illuminati to figure out how can they stop the incursions, but to also save the multiverse? And so with that being said, you do have T'Challa tell Namor that he has been studying a lot of different Earths. And he realized that the Black Priests, the Map Makers, they have taken out a lot of Earths over the last couple of days. But there is one Earth right now that has T'Challa very intrigued. And the reason why? Because that planet was able to survive two incursions, but in different ways, without actually killing off another planet full of people. And that is the moment we jump over to an alternate Earth. Now, this Earth is going to give us a group of heroes who basically represents Marvel's version of the Justice League. Now, Marvel has a lot of characters who represents DC's Justice League. But of course, this was Jonathan Hickman just giving us another group of heroes who can represent the Justice League. Now, with that being said, though, apparently this Earth was the earth that T'Challa was talking about that apparently they somehow survived not just one incursion but apparently they, they have survived two incursions and that right there is very huge because apparently to T'Challa this group of heroes they're not going around and blowing up other earths somehow they were able to save their earth from other earths crashing into it and so now it's kind of like how did they do that? That is the big question right there at the moment. Now, when it comes to these heroes, when we do pick up with them, we pick up with them at the perfect time. And the reason why, because they're about to go through another incursion. Now, this is huge because now you have these heroes wondering, what are they going to do this time? Because apparently the last two times, whatever they did, they got lucky. They even said, we got lucky with those last two plans. But this time, can we actually achieve our goal, which is to save our Earth? Like, can we do it for a third time straight? But right now, they don't have a choice. They have to find a way because apparently another incursion is happening right now. Now, with this new incursion, we're going to see that these heroes... They know a lot about what is out there in the multiverse. And the reason why I say that's because when they go to the incursion point, an incursion point is where two Earths are about to crash into one another. When they get there, they come to find out the area is all blue. Now, with the area being all blue, they know that it is the map makers. Now, remember, the map makers travel the multiverse in a very unique way. What they do is that when they go to an Earth, they make sure that Earth is drained of all its energy, and so making it a dead Earth. But when that Earth becomes a dead Earth, it's still an Earth, and it has to go through incursions. And so when that dead Earth is able to go into an incursion, you have the map makers just jump off that dead Earth and go to a new Earth to do the same process all over again. And right now, you have the map makers leaving another dead Earth 
earth as a way to jump over to this new earth to begin the process all over again. And so you have Marvel's Justice League kind of like, we need to take them out fast because they know about the map makers. They know if they don't take them out fast, it can only make things worse. But the problem is though, they don't have a plan. And so it seems like they could possibly fail. But that is the moment you have Marvel's version of Dr. Fate says he has an idea on how he can save their Earth. But of course, it could be very dangerous. Now, what you have the Marvel version of Dr. Fate do is that he used one of the Black Priest masks as a way to split himself into three different people to give him enough energy to blow up that other Earth before it crashes into their Earth. Now, that other Earth was already a dead planet thanks to the map makers. And so when they blew it up, they technically do not feel that bad about it because that planet was already dead. But on top of that right there, you have the Marvel version of Dr. Fate holding one of the many Black Priest masks. And that is huge because the map makers are just one group of people out there who are killing the multiverse. But there are other groups out there that are also killing the multiverse. And one of those groups is the Black Priest. And so now the big question is, how did this guy get one of those masks? And how did he know how to use it properly? Now, you do have him trying to like, He'll up, catch his breath because that spell was really powerful. But he does tell the other heroes he was too late. And the reason why I say he was too late is because a piece of that dead earth did crash into their earth. And of course, that means the map makers still have a way to come onto this earth. And that is very huge because even though the incursion is done, the map makers have now arrived on this earth and they can begin the process of draining the energy from this earth. Now, you do have these heroes begin the process of actually fighting against the map makers because they know that if they don't get rid of these map makers, they will just begin the process of killing off this earth. And so you have our heroes here right now just trying to get rid of these map makers. Now, with that being said, these map makers are able to adapt to almost every single situation. And so most of the heroes of this team they can't do much to the map makers because the map makers just keep adapting to every single one of their attacks. Now, remember what I said, almost everything. And that almost means the sun god, which is another version of Superman in Marvel Comics. And the sun god is able to get rid of all of the map makers by using a solar flare. Now, a solar flare is really just a huge amount of energy being released outward of Sun God as a way to kill almost everything around him. And so when he does it, all of the map makers are gone. And so they were able to save their earth once again from another incursion. But again, those two plans they had to do, that was just them winging it. They have no idea what they're going to do if another incursion happens. And so right now, they're kind of freaking out. Now, we do jump back over to D'Challa and Namor. Because remember, they were the ones that were watching Marvel's version of the Justice League by using Mr. Fantastic's invention known as the Bridge. As a way to look into alternate universes, they watched the Marvel's version of the Justice League just survive another incursion. But this moment right now, you have Namor and T'Challa kind of getting along because even though these two characters have fought against each other and hate each other right now it's both of them realizing how big this whole thing is like the multiverse is dying this is bigger than atlantis this is bigger than wakanda and so right now it's kind of like this is bigger than just two kings who have issues with one another, which means that we should work together and get along and try to save the multiverse. And of course, 
They're going to try that. But then T'Challa got some bad news. And that bad news comes from the bridge because the bridge also has the ability to look into the future of alternate universes to see what they're going to do in the future. And so with that being said, T'Challa was able to see the future of the Marvel's version of the Justice League and they're going to have a fourth incursion. But this fourth incursion is actually going to be their Earth against the main Marvel Universe Earth, which means in our next video, the Illuminati will have to fight against Marvel's version of the Justice League. But with that being said, this is where we are going to end today's comic book video. So please leave me a like down below and subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions on books I should read, well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But I do hope you enjoy today's comic book video. Later, guys.